You know, one thing about a lot of these old Catholic churches and old schools and everything was the architecture of how a lot of these um, structures were built. I'm talking about the craftsmanship, the, um, the aesthetics, so forth and so on, of how the Catholic Church basically invested money, but not just the Catholics, the Jews, uh, Jewish synagogues, Islamic mosque, and the whole nine yards. Another desk there. We'll go up these steps here. You know, this is part of the problem. Is that you got churches, you know, trying to buy some of these buildings, but not having enough congregation or members ministry partners or whatever they are called to help support these um, huge structures. And that's a problem. Now one of the things that I would have liked to see done with this building along with the school is maybe turn it into um, a um, program where you can have apprenticeships like in carpentry um, a lot of these doors are closed if that mattress could talk I wonder what it would say a lot of nice wooden furniture nice chair last year around this time I went into the old uh, St. Rita's high school which was then converted into um, Detroit public school for those with mental disabilities and handicaps physical handicaps and I said it then and I'm gonna say it now is that a lot of these buildings could be utilized for other purposes. So we make our way back around here. You know, yesterday when I was doing my survey, coming through the neighborhood, I just happened to notice that um, scrappers got in. You know, you gotta forgive me because I don't do basements. We make our way back to the main sanctuary here. See somebody then pull it out the phony money, the play money, the monopoly money, or the life money, life game money. And what we're gonna do is eventually we're going to make our way out of here and head around to the back and see what we can see. You know, another thing too, quick you know, reference note, is that a lot of these churches were built by the membership. Because you, mind you now, a lot of the members had particular skill sets such as carpentry, um, masonry, brick masonry, um, electrical skills, you know, uh, plumbing skills, and the whole nine yards. So they didn't have to go too far in order to um, build up these structures. They tapped into the people that they had on hand. Another bathroom here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on out and see what we can see. 
So hold on tight. We over here on Cameron Street. We're right over here by the old St. Rita's High School. And which, um, as I stated before, which was um, converted over to the DPS uh, special needs school. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the courtyard, take a look around, see what we can see. And then we're gonna make our way on out of here. One of the things that I've learned in my adventures or career as an, as an urban explorer is not to hang around too long unless and I do stress unless you know that you know that um well brothers and sisters here we are in the back of the courtyard behind between the um, school the convent and the church and what you're looking at right now is basically what was going on back here Nice big concrete slabs. And as I stated before last year, I took you all through um, the old St. Rita slash Helen Field special needs school. And we just came from out of the church, taking a look around. And as I stated before, the church that bought this building, I don't know if they bought it or if they were, you know, uh, renting it out or leasing it or whatever, but they, bas they basically just packed up and um, didn't come back. Some nice cedar blocks there. As we take a look around, a nice little shovel here. Need me a nice shovel. We see where the scrappers basically left some of um, their 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 ill-gotten gains. It's quite interesting when I do these urban explorations. The things that I see and find. old phonograph or record player right there and this right here is one of the windows that leads into the sanctuary we were just in there and then we were just in um over here in the big house or the main house Taking a look around. It's very interesting. And one thing I noticed too when I came through here a little bit earlier is that a lot of the door entrances have been bricked in. Now I don't know if the new church did that, New Providence, or if the Catholic Church did that. Just the, you know, Quick observation there. See lots of bags here where somebody dumped off um, a lot of um, debris, roofing, you know, shingles and the like. And that's the one thing, too, that I wanted to point out about the city of Detroit is how they have all this illegal dumping. That's what makes it bad also for the city of Detroit, all this illegal dumping. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the front and then I'm gonna have some parting words and then I'm gonna call it a day on this urban exploration. So hold on tight. I like to say, um, my name is Deck Davidson, the Urban Explorer. And we have just did a quick brief urban exploration of the old St. Rita's Church which closed down about five or six years ago but which was recently renovated and brought up 
or bought or rented out or whatever by another church, local church here in the city of Detroit. Um, the church that brought, bought this property, I guess they couldn't maintain it because they didn't have enough membership over here, you know, um, contributing to keep it going. Now, the one thing that I can say is that when they were here, New Providence, they were doing a lot of things for the community. They had free clothing drives where people could come in to um, get clothes. They also had um, where they was feeding the community, just like some of the other churches around here. And they had a lot of other different programs. Um, it's just sad to see this building just sit up and fall in disrepair and basically become dilapidated. And the one thing that I hate is that the scrappers have broke in and they, you know, started to do they do. And I remember, what, about a year ago or so, I did a urban exploration in this building here where I got a chance to talk to, an, you know, um, a scrapper. And pretty much this building right here is being scrapped. And I hate to see that happen. Because what's going to eventually happen is that the building is going to fall in such disrepair that um, no one's going to invest no money or time or energy into it. But the one thing that I, I would say is this. What I would like to see is a community college or um, some kind of institute training institute turned into some kind of training facility where they can train some of the residents that live in the community or outside the community to come in to learn some kind of skill such as painting, drywall, carpentry, um, electrical, plumbing, the whole nine yards where they can become certified and accredited. Just a thought. Well anyway my name is Brother Dex, and I leave you with that thought. Till next time, I say peace.